my mind, I daydreamed about a purple palace. Inside of it, I put all of the objects and thoughts I ever had, and unlike my head, it never ran out of space. It's where I can go and people never ask why unless they really just are curious. I don't know where it is, but I know it has gold ceiling fans and broccoli trees and it can fit inside of the palm of my hand. It doesn't expect anything, but every time I bring it something new, it's very grateful and expands its imaginary hands. When other people ask me what I'm making, I tell them it's a present for the Purple Palace. They nod because it's not something to misunderstand. This summer I've been in the art studio working on an upcoming film. making giant props and sets, wishing I could try out the swing. It's a really cool feeling to be a part of something. See my work lit up from the inside. But what I love the most is the magic and wonder that comes from bringing to life the make-believe. Like how this cake is mostly made out of shaving cream because it doesn't melt under the lights. But, to be honest, I am most happy when it's just me. In the studio with hot glue listening to podcasts, mixing plaster, here I am drinking loads of coffee. Here I am reading some old art books. Trying to get five minute abs. It's July and I like working with my hands. I want you to know that you're here for a reason, and so am I. It's okay to feel different, to not want to smile all the time, it's okay to cry. Maybe you don't even know what I mean. I've kept a diary since I was 14. One day I wrote, I love my family, I love my friends, but my home is my head. It's the best place I know. <laughs>